So welcome back to another episode, and the moment has finally come. It really has. After so much speculation on the internet, the hype finally happened this morning. The Megaton dropped. The NX was finally unveiled as the Nintendo Switch. Yes, they switched the name out and called it Nintendo Switch. And what's interesting is for anybody who's been following the NX story for a while now, it really is what we expected it to be. It is a hybrid system, it's a, a home system, uh, you know, that you can play on your console that is a console, uh, and it's also a portable machine that you can take with you. So you play a game, you play it at home, you play it on your TV, you take that game out, you put it in your portable machine, and you, you take that, you know, you switch it out and take it on the go. There's a lot to talk about here. A very interesting looking console. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. Honestly, it's a console, but you put the portable machine into it. It's like a docking station, like we always imagined, but we're finally seeing the real specs. And I showed my designs for what I thought the NX was gonna be, and it's kind of in that realm. It really is, and I, I designed these, um, these looks of what I thought it was gonna look like, and it was pretty similar. It's kind of similar to a lot of the stuff that was leaked online, but what is interesting is that you can take off the side controllers and use them as mini controllers. And there's a, a scene where people are sitting around one Nintendo Switch, the portable version, and they're playing on mini controllers. It's a little bit weird, I'll be honest. It's a little bit unusual. I mean, they're sitting with these little controllers playing, but uh, interesting that you can do that. Now, some of the big things that I really want to talk about is some of the games that were shown. And they showed Splatoon, and I don't think that was ever a surprise that that was going to show up. But what did get me? What well, you know, I'm watching it, and the megaton for me was the Mario 64 sequel-ish game that they showed. And they didn't give a name for it or anything like that. They just showed Mario running through like a city, and I'm like, oh my god, we're getting we're getting a Mario game, a Mario game like I've always talked about. And I, we need I need more information on this. But from first glances, it looks like a Mario 64 sequel. And it looked just so cool. Like, it looked like Mario in the pyramid levels at one point, and he's you know turning left or whatever. It was a very fast shot, but that was very very interesting. And and speaking of games, they had Skyrim running on the new Nintendo Switch. Uh, I was kind of blown away. I'm like, holy cow, we got a Skyrim game running on a Nintendo machine. Uh, that was pretty cool to see. What do I think of the machine itself? Uh, it's interesting. I don't know. It's interesting. They showed just enough of that stuff. It was all about switching it from the console version to the portable version and playing with friends. That's what they really wanted to emphasize with this trailer and I think they did a good job of getting that across but I don't know if a lot of people are disappointed. What do you guys think? Are you guys like, are you happy with this? Are you disappointed with this? It's, I'm really curious to see what the world thinks of this now because there's been so much hype building towards this machine could it ever live up to this hype can any machine live up to the hype i don't know uh i just went in it was exactly what i was expecting i got a few uh surprises and its aesthetics how it looked but what really got me was the mario game running i was like oh cool like we're getting a mario 64 that's that's awesome thank god they're doing something like that so I don't know, I'm just uh, blown away, I'm a little excited. I need to go and watch that video a thousand more times. I probably missed a lot of other stuff. I, the one thing I did like as well is that when you put the console down, you can pull out a little switch and it sits on its own there. Uh, some guy's playing it on a plane and it looks really, really cool. So, so what did you guys think of the Nintendo Switch? Has it lived up to your expectations? I need to see a lot more with the machine. I need to see more games and I really, Hope there's a ton load of games and a, a ton load of exciting things to come around the corner. So anyways, guys, until next time.